your girl, Gabrielle Reyes, and we are back in the kitchen. It's been a week or so. I don't think I did a class last week. I was busy traveling, booked and blessed, blessed and busy. But we are back, y'all. We are on YouTubes. We are on the Instagrams. We are on Facebook and we are on TikTok as well. And I'm gonna get a photo of all of us. So everyone just say, hey, hello. This is how we glow, this is how we flow. Make sure y'all can see how we doing it today. Look at this. Look what we are cooking up, y'all. We are cooking up a creamy recipe. Yes, and y'all, mm, it is so simple and so easy to make. As you know, I am all about those plant-based recipes, so I think it's about time we got into it, y'all. Hey, come on. Hey, roasted artichoke, spinach, spaghetti. Y'all already saw, I put that recipe down. Creamy, dreamy, cheesy, this mighty meal is ready. Y'all gonna sing along with me though? Come on. Hey. Roasted artichoke, spinach, spaghetti. It's ready, ready. Creamy, dreamy, cheesy, this mighty meal is ready. Y'all gonna buy and buy. Hey. Roasted artichoke, spinach, spaghetti. Get it, yeah, yeah. Creamy, creamy, cheesy, the smiley meal is ready. Y'all gonna be vibing the whole time, and okay. So as you can tell from the song, we are gonna be making a roasted artichoke and creamy spinach spaghetti. Technically, I'm using Alfredo noodles, so don't come at your girl. You can actually use whatever kind of noodles you like. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you get cooking, get going, get glowing. So the first thing we gotta do, y'all, y'all know I sent y'all up with the recipe already. I sent it to you, I posted it on all of my social medias. And what we got here, y'all, this, this right here really sets it off. You've got to do this part. Make sure you get all of your artichoke hearts. Now you could just throw in, right, just basic artichoke hearts and you'd be like, all right, cool, I made it, I did it, right? But, we don't do basic up here in the long grain vegan kitchen. I'm actually gonna be seasoning and roasting these up. These have been marinating in a jar. Save that marinade for a delicious dressing. Oh my gosh, a little bit of hummus or some plant-based mayonnaise. Child, you Gucci to go. All right, so the seasoning I have in here though is Italian seasoning and poultry seasoning, y'all. So here we go. Give it a good sprinkle. I would say about one to two tablespoons of each of those. Oh, there she goes. And now we're gonna make sure all of these pieces are fully coated and covered. And then we're gonna pop this into our oven. I'm gonna bake these until they are crispy. You can flip them throughout if you want to, but to be honest, we're gonna be working on this cheese sauce. So who knows what's gonna happen today? We just gonna get into it, get going, and get alone. Okay, so now that these are well covered in all of my seasoning, I'm gonna pop them into the oven, y'all. I am baking these at 100 and or 425 degrees, and we're gonna let those roast up while we cook our nice, delicious, creamy sauce. Hello, and this is what everything is gonna go into. And this is what I like about this recipe. Honestly, it just all goes into one little pan. I suggest using a very big pan for this. So first things first, let's get ourselves some oil. You can also use vegan butter or aquafaba, vegetable broth, doesn't really matter to be honest, but make sure you got something that's gonna help those onions and that garlic get going. Y'all see this? I'm just letting that oil get in there. And y'all know my little girl burner, y'all know how she be, so we gonna have to run it back to the big girl burner in the back. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Big girl burner in the back. That's where she go now. 
So if you see me run back, now you know where I'm going. I'm going to my other burner. But this just has like the right setup, the lighting, just the space to do whatever I need to, you know what I'm saying? So let's add in about one half cup of our diced up white onions. And this is already sizzling, so that's what I like to hear. Nice little sizzle and got some of that extra seasoning up in there. And what I like about this recipe too is honestly, you don't gotta add in much extra salt and pepper. The plant-based cheese and the other seasonings are really gonna take care of everything. And y'all know I'm a salty girl. You know, I always like to add in my little salt and my pepper and my little maple syrup. Y'all know I always add in maple syrup and smoked paprika into every recipe. Not this one, y'all. I'm so sorry, but it's just not happening today. I decided. I was going to switch it up and not add in maple syrup because to be honest, this doesn't need maple syrup. There is a secret ingredient that does make it the most fabulous, but it's not maple syrup. Well, we're going to chat about that in a little bit. Now, as you can see, my onions are sauteing down. Y'all know I got my song. Cooking is easy and fun when you sing. Onions and oil can make anything. Because, hello, that is the truth. Onions and oil can make anything. And cooking is easy and fun when you do sing. So I suggest, if you are not already vibing out when you cook, like, I'm not one to just, like, sit and stir. I know some people are like that. They're like, this is peaceful for me to just be silent. Hello, my name is Gab Riel. So obviously, I'm going to be singing at least. I'll be chit-chatting at the same time, too. Now, what you want to do is you want to get these onions nice, cooked down, soft, translucent slightly browned before we add in all the other ingredients but halfway through doing that sauteing those onions down let's add in some minced up garlic about i'm adding about four tablespoons i ain't gonna front y'all i'm going in with the garlic go in with the garlic for flavor go in with the garlic Go in, honey, because seasoning truly is everything. And for us to build all the dynamic flavors of a truly delicious artichoke and spinach dip, which I don't know if y'all like spinach artichoke dip, but I'm a big fan. Anytime I go to a vegan restaurant, that's kind of like how I gauge if they are super delicious. If I like the recipes by their french fries, I judge everyone by their french fries. I ain't going front. I'm like, oh, y'all fries good? If you can figure out fries, then... We got lives, you know what I'm saying? And also, yes, I judge them based on their spinach artichoke dip if they have it. I am a big fan. And what's crazy is I actually didn't really get into spinach artichoke dip until I was older. It was before I went vegan, definitely. But I love that you can just use it on a bunch of different stuff. You can put spinach artichoke dip in a sandwich. You can put it on a pizza. You can put it up in this pasta. You can put it in a tortilla if you feel crazy. You know what I'm saying? Make a little spinach artichoke wrap. That actually, ooh, with some chickpeas? Oh, y'all, that sounds still, y'all gotta do that. That sounds really good. All right, let me, ooh, it smells so good, y'all. Let me just add in a sprinkle of my salt just to really help this all get going and glowing. I like to use pink salt, pink Himalayan salt, because, hello, it's not iodized white salt. It's a healthier salt. And the other salt I'm obsessed with, y'all know, is that Kala Namak, that black salt. Hey. Cook the onions down. Okay, come on, vibe. Cook the onions down. Cook the onions down. And then we're adding vegan cheese. Cook the onions down. Cook the onions down. Cook the onions down. And then we're adding vegan cheese. Sometimes when you're cutting onions, you start crying. Hello, if you wear contacts and you do not 
cry when you cut onions, raise your hand because that's 100% my life. I actually, my eyes don't tear up at all. But also chewing gum, I heard, works. And then sunglasses. I have tried the sunglasses trick and that did work. <gasps> but y'all look at this. Our onions and our garlic are sauteing. Oh, and they smell bomb up in here. It smells so freaking delicious. Now after this, y'all, like I said, this recipe is super simple. It's all just going up in our big pan. You can also do this in a pot, especially if you're making like a big batch of this spinach artichoke. And what's fierce about this recipe too is if you want to turn it into a spinach artichoke dip, you can do that as well. You don't have to add in all the plant-based milk. You can make that nice creaminess. In fact, we'll chit chat about that when we get to that portion. I will show y'all how you can transform this pasta, which is inspired by a dip, back into a dip and give it a sip. You know what I'm saying? Get your best life. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go get my big girl butter in the day. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Big girl butter. Do what she do. But while I'm doing that, let me see if I can get any questions. Y'all know I just be going in. Let's see, what are you making? Spinach artichoke dip pasta. I'm actually gonna be using these gluten-free fettuccine pasta right there. Somebody came for me in my YouTube and was like, that's not spaghetti. I was like, yeah, but spaghetti rhymes with things easier. So I was like, let me just call it spaghetti. And I don't like, making too many songs with the same words. Like I could call this spinach artichoke uh, pasta, but I call a lot of things pasta. So I wanted to kind of, you know, switch it up with the lyrics. And spaghetti is a fun, fun word to rhyme with, even though to be honest, I've only found a few words that rhyme easily with spaghetti. So if you got other words that rhyme with fettuccine, let me think about this, fettuccine, canamini, Got a beanie, got a beanie. I could have I could have done that. I could have done something with fettuccine. Let's see, let me think. I gotta think about it. Roasted artichoke fettuccine. Butter, 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 and creamy. Roasted artichoke. Okay, okay, okay. I see what y'all saying now. I could have switched it up. I could have done it right. So we got roasted artichoke spinach fettuccine. Easy to make and it's so dang creamy. Roasted artichoke, hey, fettuccine. Quick and easy to make and it's so, so creamy. All right, all right, I see what y'all are saying. Okay, I could have rhymed fettuccine with creamy and that could have worked as well. But y'all know, I'm gonna come back with it with another song. In fact, Y'all even haven't even heard the recipe song for this. All you have seen is that little teaser video. And you'll know I'll be teasing people with my videos, okay? So now at this point, if you want to, you can saute down your spinach, but I'm gonna put that in after we've done all of our creaminess. The next part we're gonna add in, this is where all that delicious, creamy, tangy fabulousness comes in. I'm gonna be using Follow Your Heart Cream Cheese. And I would say cream cheese is key when it comes to this recipe, you know what I'm saying? Because it just adds that full fattiness. This is based with coconut milk. So that way, you know, you Gucci to go. <gasps> yes, add in one cup of your plant-based cream cheese. And then we are gonna add in our hummus, our delicious plain hummus. As y'all can tell, I'll be using hummus a lot in a lot of my recipes. It's just a simple, easy way to make a recipe like thicker or even like make a sauce, stuff like that. It's so easy to do that and use hummus because, you know, number one, anybody, we could all make hummus. You can make hummus out of like literally any kind of bean. So it's pretty easy to add it into a bunch of recipes and it adds in that plant protein, especially if you're making plain hummus, you can add any kind of flavor to it. So fun hack, if you're looking to make a little snack, in fact, if you're looking to make like a pasta, quick pasta, I'll be using plant-based cheese and hummus and calling it a good day. Now, as you can see, I'm just mixing and mashing down my cream cheese. And I'm gonna try to get out any of the clumps right now, but I'm gonna add in some plant-based milk as well. I'm using coconut milk. I really like coconut-based 
product. Just for me, it just fits my body. Maybe it's the Caribbean girl in me, you know what I'm saying? But I really like coconut-based cheeses. Also, I've learned that most people are not allergic to the coconut. If you are allergic to coconut, of course, there's so many other kinds. There's sunflower seed, nuts, there's hemp seed, there's oat cheese. I mean, y'all, there's everything we need, everything. All right, so now I'm gonna pour in about one cup. Ooh, let me make sure I don't spill it now. Pour in about one cup of my plant-based milk, AKA coconut milk, rice milk is fierce as well. If you're looking for something that you could just make at home, honestly. And we're gonna give this a little whisk. Hey, whisk it up, whisk it and frisk it up, whisk it up, whisk it together. Get in the kitchen, no matter the weather. Whisk it up, whisk it together. Everything you need, it's getting better. Whisk it up, whisk it together. Then we'll add in seasoning, it's getting better. Whisk it up, whisk it together. Seasoning and cheese to make it better. Whisk it up, whisk it together. Vegan cheese and seasoning. All right, as you can see, putting that wrist motion in, I'm getting a nice little whisk going. Now at this point, you can add in more plant-based milk to make sure you don't have any of those lumpies. As you can see, I'm showing y'all over here on the YouTubes. You can see what I'm doing up in here. And there we go. I'm just turning this up. In fact, I'm thinking the next time I do my YouTube, I might have to do it this way, um, vertically, opposed to horizontally, because it just fits better. If y'all saw the whole setup I had going on right now, you'd be like, dang, girl, that's a lot. <laughs> chill out, chill out. Ooh, it smells so tangy, that cream cheese. Mm. And if you know anything about spinach artichoke dip, you know about that cream cheese. You know how she fit in real good. Yep. Oh, did I just splash on myself? Yo, I'm just over here splashing, living my best life. All right, I'm gonna add in a little bit more of this plant-based milk. And I like to just add it in periodically. I use about two to four cups especially when we start to add in that cheese. You can make it as cheesy as you like, or not as cheesy as you like. Of course, for me, I'm a cheesy girl. Somebody was like, girl, all your recipes have cheese in it. I was like, well, you know, I do like vegan cheese. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I try to blend it up, like mix it up. Some things have a little plant-based cheese in it. I always do like to have like a creamy element, whether that's a hummus base or tahini base or you know, like plant-based mayonnaise or cream cheese, something. I love to have a creamy element for all my recipes to dip into, you know what I'm saying? Get that nice little drizzle, goodness. All right, cool. So this is pretty whisked up pretty well. Now, I'm gonna add in my seasoning and spices. So what we got in here, let's talk about our secret ingredients, AKA our spices, everything nices. I got the basics, the garlic powder, the onion powder, the red pepper flakes. Now what's really gonna set it off? I want y'all to guess, take a moment, think. What's really gonna set this whole thing going and flowing and glowing? It starts with an N. It's nutmeg. Yes, y'all know I'll be adding in nutmeg into a lot of my white sauce recipes. It's just like, elevates it a little bit. But you don't gotta add in that much. Add in no more than one half of a teaspoon and you are Gucci to go. Also add in that red chili flakes, that little bit of heat up in there. Boom. And there we go, y'all. Add in about one to two tablespoons, or I would say actually two tablespoons for sure, of the garlic powder and the onion powder. And then give it a whisk. And of course, if you're a big fan of spiciness, you can add in more of those red pepper flakes. But I'm a, I'm a pretty medium when it comes to heat. I like things spicy, but I don't want this whole dish spicy. I really just want it to be a nice little hint in the back of your tongue where it just goes, ooh, that's nice, I like that. Now, of course, this would not be a one great vegan recipe if we did not enhance the cheese level with a little bit of some nutritional yeast. Say four tablespoons and you are Gucci to go. Now I will say, 
The nutritional yeast will start to thicken up your sauce, so don't be afraid to add in some more of that plant-based milk. And then we're gonna be adding in that cheese. Ooh, I love the smell of nutritional yeast. Some people are like, ugh, nutritional yeast smells like feet. And I'm like, dang, well, I might be weird, but I love it. <laughs> I might be crazy. It has B12 in it, y'all. Everybody always asking where vegans be getting B12. I'll be getting mine from my nutritional yeast, as well as from nori or seaweed flakes, spinach, uh, let's see, mushrooms. Y'all know mushrooms got everything you need in it. And there we go, a wonderful creamy sauce is on the horizon for us. Now, let's go check in really quick on our roasted artichokes. <gasps> Ooh, y'all, she is getting good. I can tell, I can see that moisture just flying away. I'll fly away, oh moisture. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. All right, let's see what else we gotta add in here. I wish y'all could see how much I'm sweating right now. Like truly, my whole face is just full, full on drenched <laughs> with sweat, y'all. But that's how we get going, and that's how we get glowing. And that's what I mean when I say glow, I guess, is that natural sweat, sweaty glow, okay? So next we're gonna be adding in our Parmesan cheese, or actually this is our mozzarella, but we also got Parmesan because I be going in, y'all. So we're adding in both of these elements for that just creamy deliciousness. Now, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. I'm adding in one cup of each of these, especially added lots of that mozzarella. It's gonna really make it nice and sticky and just mm, ooey gooey. And then plant-based Parmesan. And where you can buy these, I typically, honestly, follow your heart, you can buy these at most grocery stores. Ralph's, Public, Kroger, Tom Thumb, uh, Save On, of course, Sprouts, Whole Foods, those kind of places as well, you can always. But I found Follow Your Heart in some very interesting spots, like in the middle of nowhere. I was like, oh, I see you, Follow Your Heart. Hello, girl. So now let's whisk in that cheese, if you please. And as you can see, it is thickening up. And you can get it as thick as you like. Add in more cheese if you really feel like it. But also know we're gonna be adding in a squeeze of a whole lemon to balance out that delicious creaminess. And of course, I'm gonna be doing a little taste test too. Let me get myself a little spoon and see how she do. Oh wait, all my spoons are in the dish right now. Your girl has been cooking. And what's crazy is I'm about to start cooking like eight recipes a week, which I'm, I'm low key nervous about, but we'll see y'all, we'll see. All right, let me see. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna do it from here. <laughs> it don't matter at this point. I'm gonna just shovel it into my face. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, she real good. Oh, she. The nutmeg. It sets it off. It just. Go off with the nutmeg. Please, go off. All right, I'm adding some more cheese because I want this really, really creamy and delicious. It doesn't need any salt, no pepper. I might add in a splash more of my roasted or actually not roasted my red peppers let's see y'all i'll be buying my spices in full on bulk okay i don't play games when it comes to running out on my spices okay just adding a little splash more of that because you know y'all i'm just about it i am about that deliciousness there she go Ooh, she might be a little too spicy i might have gone a little crazy with it but that's okay that's all right. It's going to be all smothered in those noodles and going to be fabulous. Now, I like to whisk this around until all those clumps are gone. There's still going to be a little bit of clumpiness from the onion, but don't worry about that. You just want to make sure that none of that seasoning is clumped up. You want to make sure all of that cream cheese, you don't want any clumps of cream cheese. That would be really, really weird. So put that wrist motion in. Hey, da, 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 da. I wish I could whisk with this hand too. Let's see if I can. Ah, not as well, I'm not gonna lie, not as well, that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna add in that final splash of some lemon juice. Now, I found the best way to do this because there's seeds in it. I rolled mine before. Oh, was that a seed just flew out? I hope not, stay tuned. And then just hold the seeds in your hand, put them to the side. Also, yeah, and because I like to buy all of my fruits with seeds in them. I don't play games. <gasps> I think one fell in there. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't fall. <laughs> Here's the dangerous game we play, though. 
Find the seed. That's the game we're going to play. Of course, you can get a strainer, which I have seen, but y'all know I don't like all those fancy tools. Y'all know I just try to use as minimal things as possible. Not everyone can have access to crazy fancy tools, so I try to, you know, make things that people can go in with, even if they don't got much going on. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any seeds in there, but if somebody gets a seed, sorry. <laughs> I suggest using a strainer or a towel or something, but... It smells so good. That fresh lemon is so essential for this recipe. Don't use no jarred lemon. Don't use no canned lemon. Use that fresh lemon, y'all. And honestly, there's not too many fresh elements in this recipe, so it's not too wild to buy the ingredients for it as well. So don't be afraid to just give this a good whisk, and then we're gonna get a taste. Let me get my little spatula system I got over here. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is just really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a dip, what you would do... Yo, that nutmeg. It is so good, yo. It's like, just really elevates the whole thing. Just that small amount of it, truly. Now, what you're gonna wanna do to turn this into a dip is actually don't use nearly as much plant-based milk. Just use the hummus and the cream cheese, a splash of plant-based milk, melt it together with that plant-based cheese as well, the mozzarella, the cream cheese, the hummus, a splash of the milk, of course, the seasoning and spices, and then here's when it comes in. Bake it, add in, of course, the spinach, the artichoke, and then bake it. Sprinkle on a little bit more of that plant-based cheese on top, yo, both kinds. Put on the mozzarella and the parmesan. And we got a whole other kind of parmesan coming up too, y'all. We got it all up in here. But yes, put that in a pan that you can bake. And then y'all, you are Gucci to go for a nice, thick, delicious spinach artichoke dip. All right, in goes our spinach. I'm adding in about, ooh, I don't even know, like five cups. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that, y'all saw that? <laughs> That was a big old pile of spinach. And now I get to put it all in there. Honestly, I should have done this like one handful at a time, but we didn't do that today, y'all. We just go and do the, the Gabrielle press and flex, where you press and then you flex the other arm and then you press. <laughs> no, but for real, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna press in all these pieces of spinach and just lightly move it around the bottom, kind of moving these pieces that are at the top to the bottom, oh, and we already lost one, a spinach casualty. Yeah, I definitely should have done this like one handful at a time, but yo, that's what's beautiful about cooking. You live and you learn. And what's funny is I already did this when I was making the recipe video, and I definitely did do it one handful at a time, but I wasn't patient, y'all. I just wanted that spinach in there. <laughs> See, that's why you gotta have truth, trust, patience, gotta have truth, trust, patience. I didn't have patience for this one, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to eat. This will be the first meal I have eaten today as it goes on Saturdays sometimes. Actually, I will say, I stayed up to like 5 a.m. last night just getting things done. And that means I definitely slept in today. So it takes me a little bit long. It takes me about two hours to set up for each cooking class. And so I just got up and was like, all right, we gotta go, we gotta go but I did not have time to get myself a snack. I got myself some, oh, another casualty. I got myself some juice, but I did not get myself a snack. And in fact, I might get myself some more juice and some more water. Cause y'all see this sweat? Y'all see this all up in my face. She everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. All right, so mix this in. As you can see, this is actually not turning out too bad, y'all. Even though I piled in all the spinach at one time, it's still wilting down and I'm, I'm not mad at it. Mm. Now, like I said, you can also do this with the spinach first, but I don't know. I just like doing it this way. I don't like my spinach fully wilted in this recipe. I still like it to have a little bit of body to it. And what I found is if you saute the spinach first, it kind of just super shrinks down. And I just kind of want this to have a little, just a little oomph to it, you know, not full wilted abilities. All right, so as you can see, this is all getting thick and delicious. Mix this all together, and now that every piece of spinach is fully engulfed, y'all see that? Fully engulfed 
in my pot right here. Just gonna keep giving this a stir. Y'all, if y'all wanna know, man, this arm has to be so much stronger than this one because dang, like, I'm going in today with the stirring. This is one of those recipes, maybe hand off some of the tasks to your family. Like one of the kids can, you know, <laughs> whisk together the cheese and the other kid can hold on to this part. Mom can handle all the crazy stuff. Dad, you know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. Wrangle the kids together. Whatever y'all gotta do, but this is, this could actually be, wouldn't be too bad as like a family recipe. Look at that. Come on, and everybody can have a strong arm and maybe a strong two arms. <gasps> maybe if I did it like this. Oh no, that was dangerous. <laughs> I tried it, y'all. I really did try it. Okay, look at that spinach fully in there. Oh my gosh, I am seriously splashing all over myself. Y'all see this? Look at this. Look at the sweat and look at all the splash all over me. Y'all, this is not a joke. She is not playing games uh, today, okay? <laughs> look at this. Y'all seen it. This is why I rarely wear white because, or anything of this color, because I get so sweaty. Y'all, look at my back. I don't know if you can see it back there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, and it's about to be summertime. We go, it's gonna get crazy, y'all. It's getting crazy. Oh, snap, and our artichokes are roasted and beautiful. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. They are gorgeous. Let me get myself some of this. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, they got a little crisp. They got a little crispiness to them. They're not fully hard and fully crispy, but they definitely got that crispiness to them. Y'all see that? Y'all hear that? Ooh! Roasty artichokes. Roasty artichokes. Ooh, this is kind of hot, y'all. Hello. I was like, hmm, that's kind of starting to burn my hand a little bit. That's okay. Because we are almost done adding all of those roasted artichokes into there. Perfect. Beautiful. And we are done with the oven. That's all we needed it for, just for a little roasting of our artichokes. And now we're going to give this a whisk. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite part. Honestly, putting it all together. The artichoke with the spinach, with the cream. And while we're doing this, y'all, after we mix this together, all you have to do is just save this and whenever you are ready to cook your noodles, cook your noodles. You can honestly put this in the freezer even if you really want to and just thaw it out weeks later and call it a good day. Make sure you cook your noodles as prepared though. You definitely don't wanna pre-cook them because then it just doesn't taste as delicious. Those fresh noodles really sets it off. All right, y'all, beautiful. All right, so I'm going to now wipe my face off because I am so sweaty. Y'all, look at this. I'm gonna let y'all see a close up on my face. Y'all see this? Look at this. Look at my face, TikTok. Look at this. Y'all see that? Look at my face. There is so much sweat on there, y'all. This is not even a joke. This is what happens when I get going. I get glowing. I'm going lightly pat, but y'all know. If you've been following me for a while, you already know I get so sweaty so easily. It's just like part of who I am. And I will say my AC is not on because I wanted the sound to be good for y'all. I just didn't want like the excess wind blasting in the background. So there we go. All right, y'all. Well, this is Gucci to go. Let me get this water hot and boiling bubbling and delicious. And what you're going to want to do is cook your noodles. Doesn't matter what kind, spaghetti, fettuccine, little ringlet, little uh, macaroni, rigatoni. It don't matter, the little bow tie pasta. Honestly, it does not matter. Ooh, the shells. The shells will be really good in this recipe too. But make sure you cook it al dente because the rest of it is going to cook in the sauce. And what does al dente mean? I'll let you know. It means still just a little bit firm. You don't want it fully, fully cooked. You still want it just a tiny, a little bite to it and then it'll all cook up in the sauce, y'all. So, let's boil up our noodles. And I'm just adding this to water with a little bit of salt in it. There she goes. I'm just gonna give this a stir. In fact, I'm gonna let y'all see what I'm doing over here. Let's see. Here are my noodles. Yes. And these noodles cook very quickly because they are gluten-free, of course. And I just have them in a nice, big pot. Honestly, this pot is so great. I'll let y'all see YouTube. This is perfect for cooking long noodles because as you can see, 
it's a long pot and it kind of just makes things stay together way easier. So I'm just gonna kind of move these around a little bit, especially at the very beginning of the cooking process. Just wanna make sure they don't stick together because stuck together spaghetti or pasta of any kind or s slimy spaghetti, you know, uh, any of those things, you gotta cook it right. You know what I'm saying? You wanna make sure that the spaghetti, the vessel for all that deliciousness is cooked to perfection. And what I found, especially with gluten-free, the best way to do it is by making sure that you undercook it. So make sure it's just a little bit firm and that's what we call al dente. So we using fancy words up in the kitchen, y'all, today. Okay, al dente, saute. I'm pretty sure these are all rooted in Latin. Obviously, most words are rooted in Latin. But I'll have to do a little bit of research to find out exactly where all the terms saute, let's see, what are, what are the other terms? Flambe, that's a term too. I'm not, honestly, y'all, if you know anything about me, you know I'm not fancy with my terminology when it comes to cooking. I'm all about home-cooked meals. Things that just truly, the regular public, just us normal people, you know, we eat opposed to people who like fine dining. I'm not a fine dining kind of girl, to be honest. Um, I, I like a big hearty meal, a big plate of noodles. Like, that's like my happy place, you know what I'm saying? So there we go, especially of cheesy, creamy noodles. Hello. All right, so we're gonna let these cook on up in my big girl burner in the back. And then we just gonna let these, the sauce cook up as well. Ooh, yeah, she is getting nice and thick too. Baby, you got it, got it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna try to answer some questions and I'm gonna get myself some water because the thirst is real. Ooh, look at those little crispy parts right there. Okay, beautiful. Now let's gonna start with Tick Tick. Your energy is beyond beautiful. That is so kind, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, that's so lovely. And we are gonna be making, what well, we're gonna be finishing now at this point, we almost done. We're gonna be making the uh, spinach artichoke dip pasta or as i call roasted artichoke spinach spaghetti creamy dreamy cheesy this mighty meal is ready yeah. roasted artichoke spinach spaghetti y'all okay next love your hairstyle can you use pickled artichokes yes oh let's see for some reason my little phone over here she decided i'm so sorry facebook sometimes she'd be doing that she's like no the phone is too hot. I think it's because of this right here. Oh, but that's okay. Y'all know I'm trying to figure it out. Hopefully, Facebook will come back on and then we can finish it up strong because I know y'all enjoy watching. I don't know why it got overheated though because it's so far away from the burner. Interesting. Okay, well, you know what? We go with what we flow with, y'all. All right, let's see. I need the skincare and hair care routine. Okay, let me tell you about the skincare routine real quick. Let's talk about it. It's called plant-based. <laughs> now, mind you, I am blessed. I do have really good skin. I did struggle with acne, and I realized the main reason I had issues with acne was because of eating dairy and like pork, super saturated meats and dairy. And so once I cut that out of my life, poof, my skin went, Ooh, and it was like, I could feel the dewiness. I could see the dewiness, the change. And then now what I do, I always wash my face with something natural. I personally, I use charcoal based because I have really oily, sweaty skin. So I need something that's gonna suck up all that moisture and make sure that it's nice and dry. And so that's what I do. I use one of those vibrating brushes that I use that all over my face. I've used a bunch of different kinds of vibrating brushes, but if you ain't got a vibrating brush, they also make these kind of brushes that are, I think they're silicone but you can just pop it onto your hand and it kind of has the same structure, the little bristles to it. And that works well as well. Well as well, hello. So yeah, that's the skincare routine. And then I use a toner just to like, you know, whenever I wake up, keep it fresh, keep it fun, keep it fierce. And then, let's see, what else? For the hair, this is water and hair and conditioner, honestly. Sometimes I'll use products, maybe occasionally a nice sheen product. Rarely, rarely, truly. it's. Water, like I'll just spray, do, 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 
do, do, do. Today I actually took a little bit longer than I wanted it to because I was like, dang, come on, work with me, girl. My arms are getting tired <laughs> trying to style it. But I just spray water and then I just go in and I literally just do this, the same motion y'all are seeing right here. That's what I'll do. And then boop, my little curls come out. But yeah, I'm trying different styles, y'all. And I try to always match, you know, my little sweaty. Look at that. God, God. I always try to match my outfit with my food as well. Oh, look. Facebook came back. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello. All right. We're going to share that first one. Oh, okay. Well, she did what she was going to do. And I guess I'm going to have to do what I'm going to have to do. All right, let me see. I'm gonna go live again on my Facebook and hopefully it doesn't kick them out this time because that was, that was sad, y'all. That was a little, little sad. All right, let's see. Now, is it gonna paste what I want it to paste? <gasps> let's see. <gasps> no, let me go over here. All right, the plot thickens. So what I do is I always write down what I'm going to, the words I'm gonna put in like the live stream. I always write it down and text it to myself. But sometimes, even if I copy it, it still won't paste. Y'all know how it goes with these phones these days. All right, done. Oh, let's start it again. Okay. All right, hello, Facebook. Welcome back. So sorry, y'all got overheated. I don't know what that was about, but it's getting hot in here, I guess. Hey, hey. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, we're making food. It's getting hot in here. You don't gotta be rude. LOL. Okay. So where were we y'all? Okay. So we talked about the hair and a skincare routine. We talked about what we're making. We talked about the energy. I've always wondered what vegan cheese tastes like. Is it similar to normal cheese? I will say follow your heart is very, 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 very close to the taste of regular cheese. It really just depends on your like flavor palette. Like, do you like like standard government, you know, craft cheese, fake cheese, Velveeta, or do you like more like Sargento, the fancier kinds of cheese? Are your cheese connoisseur? They have vegan cheese for everyone. They have gourmet cheeses. They got, you know, dollar store cheeses. They got Aldi cheeses. They got Trader Joe's cheeses. It all just depends. I will say, I think Follow Your Heart has the closest melt to regular cheese. And listen, I love cheese. I always love cheese. But once I realized I was lactose intolerant, it was like, mm -mm, cheese don't love me. Cheese don't love me like that. All right, let's see these noodles. Oh, snap. She is looking good. Let me bring these on over here so y'all can see how these noodles are cooking up. We're going to do a little taste test before we get everything in there. And I want to make sure these pieces are breaking up as well. There we go. We see the noodles cooking. Noodles cooking. Noodles, noodles, noodles cooking. Feta, feta, fettuccine. Not, not spaghetti. But you can use any pasta that can be. All right, I can already tell this is not cooked yet. It's not al dente, it's still cooking. In that goodness, we're gonna give it a few more minutes, y'all. Come on. Hey, hey, cook the pasta. All right, what test did you get to know what you were allergic to dairy? Well, I honestly did a test later on when I was vegan, but the first recognition of me being allergic to dairy was number one, the pain. Who here, raise your hand if you've eaten dairy and then like a few hours later, or even a few minutes later, you felt intense cramps. So I started feeling that and recognizing that every time I ate dairy, and my mom always took lactate, which I was always like, what's that about? And if you know anything about lactate, it's a pill you can take that apparently it lets your stomach um, digest, lets your stomach, let me put that in quotes, okay? Lets your stomach digest the animal-based milk which to me was always like, what's the point? Like, don't we got other kind of milk? And I always thought this as a kid, but I never, you know, thought vegan, you know, I'm still thinking, oh, ice cream, ooh, cheese. I loved like just cheddar block, Kroger brand cheese was my favorite. But yeah, y'all, I would say, I mean, just see what feels right for your body. I mean, I would definitely go to the doctor if you already can kind of tell like your allergies you know, every time I eat this, I feel this way or, you know, this happens to my body. Like for me now, every time I eat wheat or, you know, processed wheat, of course, my skin breaks out right over here. It gets all 
kind of like bug bites almost in a way and then I get cramps so I started to learn like okay well maybe that's not what I need to do maybe I don't need to be ingesting wheat um, and with soy I kind of just feel a little bloated so I kind of stick away from soy when I can mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. water is life mm. but my husband did an allergy test he did one online where they sent him like the whole package, kind of like 23 DNA, but he had to give his blood, I will say. He had to like prick himself a little bit and give his blood and they gave him all his allergies and let him know. Of course he was allergic to dairy, are we surprised? But we, it was nice confirmation to know exactly. Let's see how these noodles are doing. Come on. All right, so we got our fettuccine noodles. They look like they're almost about ready. But I, it's a fine line, y'all. I'm not playing games with the texture of the noodle, okay? I want to make sure we're able to bite it. But at the same time, I want to make sure that it's... Mm, perfect. I love it. Yes. All right, it's still got a little bite to it, just a little bit. That means it's time to strain out the water. And then we're gonna add in our desired amount of pasta to your desired amount of sauce. Honestly, the best way to do this, if you kind of have people who are like picky when it comes to sauce ratio, AKA my husband, I ain't gonna lie. We got into like this whole discussion one time when we were eating pizza. One of the hardest times I've ever laughed when we were talking about the ratio of like pizza sauce to bread. So he's really big on like less sauce, but me, I love sauce. So right now I'm gonna make myself my own bowl. And first things first, I'm gonna get out my noodles. Ooh, get all that extra pasta water. Here's our noodles right there, just like that. And then let me get another big old serving. Cause like I said, y'all first meal of the day. First meal of the day, first meal of the day. And that's because I practice intermittent fasting. Typically, I like to eat just one big meal, high calorie meal a day. Ooh, let me break these little pieces apart. Oh, come on, fork. That's what I'm talking about. You don't want any of your noodles to be in the same Piece because then that's how you know they are not fully cooked. So there we go. There's a big bowl of noodles. And then let me get this sauce up in here. Oh, yes. I'm gonna make sure I get lots of that artichoke and plenty of spinach. Oh, look at that. Let me make sure I don't spill it on myself though. Hello. There she goes. Pour in your desired amount. And that's what I love about this recipe. Use however much you need in your life and you can also bake this pasta too if you want to put this with some like uh pasta shells or like rigatoni pasta and then just bake it up yo with a little bit of that plant-based cheese on top that that's bomb right there all right and then this way you can save the extra for later just like that all right now i'm gonna give this a little toss mix in all my sauce See those noodles? Yes. Oh, this looks so good, y'all. Oh, spinach, artichoke, roasted. Goodness, creamy, dreamy, and those long, luscious noodles that we love. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pile on just one more little scooping of those artichokes and that spinach because I really want it full of that, those roasted artichokes we worked so hard on. And then there we go. There's a big, beautiful bowl of my pasta. If you want to plate it differently, go for it, glow for it. This is how I do it. I do it big. Do it big, do it big, do it big. Plate that pasta. All right, next, let's add on all of our fun garnish. And we got a secret little extra ingredient in this too. This is my plant-based Parmesan. This is also follow your heart, but this one, as you can see, this is kind of like that pizza Parmesan. I love adding it on top, a big helping. Say when, am I right? When never came. All right, now here's our secret ingredient, y'all. 
Crushed pistachios. Crushed pistachios. I like to keep some whole, some into little pieces and just sprinkle over those pistachios. 100% optional, just adds on that little extra element of crunch in there. And really just, I just love that little, ah, oh, that surprise bite when you dig into a big, luscious bowl of noodles. And then the last thing, of course, that little bit of freshness. We got some parsley right there, my loves. Just chopped up parsley. And we have another quick, easy, simple, recipe we have finished here today my loves spinach artichoke pasta roasted artichokes with a creamy dreamy sensational sauce just all kinds of flavor and fierceness in there and of course those long luscious noodles of love y'all see this check it out check it out instagram y'all look at that facebook came back right in time and then of course my TikTok and YouTube. Y'all see that? She cute. Let me make sure y'all get a good angle on that. Oh, yes. Look at her. Y'all, now, the moment we've all been waiting for. In fact, let me go get one of these because she is hot and fresh out the kitchen. That way, look at that. Oh, see, I get this arm workout now on this arm. This one was for the cooking. This one is for the holding. People ask me all the time, girl, how do you hold that in one arm? And I'm like, this is how. And sometimes I'll place it on the table too. Don't tell nobody. But let's dig on in. Ooh, look at that. Look at those noodles. Okay. Okay. Don't play games with me. Don't play these games. Don't come out so good though. Y'all. All right. Let me get a bite I can go into now because I know she big, bold, and beautiful. Girl, yeah. That's a bite I can have right there. Look at that, that noodle. Oh, yes. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's so good. Oh. Yes. Oh my gosh, the nutmeg. Y'all, I keep talking about that nutmeg because you can just barely taste it at the end and the spiciness from those red chili flakes. Woo! Cheers, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. mm -hmm. mm. Oh, okay, okay. One more bite. And then I'm gonna have to dip out, y'all, because I'm gonna have to eat all of this. <gasps> y'all have to make this recipe, the spiciness, just there's so much flavor going on in here, especially with those roasted artichokes as well. And those long noodles. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Yo. Yo. You gotta make it. You gotta make it. You gotta take it. You gotta get that artichoke, that tanginess. Creaminess. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. I'm gonna have to put it down, y'all. I'm gonna have to put it down. Shut it down. And put it down. Well, y'all. We have vibe. We have stayed alive. And we did it all under an hour. Look at us. Come on. That is success. You know, these classes be going on forever. But. I hope y'all end up making this recipe. I hope y'all get a copy of my cookbook, Colorful Home Cooking with Gabrielle Reyes. And there's tons of recipes, over 120. But until then, y'all, come on. Sing your song, do your dance, sing your do. Hey. Sing your song. Oh, snap, in fact, we gonna start this song over because she was about to end. We can't leave on a song to end, y'all. We gotta vibe our way out the kitchen. Cause next time I'll see y'all in here. I don't know what we gonna be making, but y'all know we gonna be vibing. So if you have not already gotten up today and danced your little heart out. Oh, let's see, I think Facebook went away. Facebook went away, y'all. She said, we done here. She said, y'all cook the food, we good. Sing your song. Yeah.
Y'all know at the end of the day, no matter what, that your truth matters. You living your best life is the reason you are alive to go hard at your dreams and to do everything that you achieve. Make the world a better place. A little bit, just a little bit every day. Inspire somebody to be a little bit happier, a little bit sillier, or just, you know, let go of insecurities, fears, doubts. Just let it all go, y'all. It's 2022, and you know what to do. We ain't got time for none of that mess. So, sing your song. Do your dance. Speak your most important part of that of course is speak your truth and I hope y'all sing that song to yourself this whole week I hope y'all vibe out I hope you have an incredible time and I will see you all next time with an incredible recipe because you know everything's up incredible up in the one great vegan kitchen and it's gonna be good too it's gonna be luscious lovely fabulous and everything you need my loves so I will see you all then goodbye god bless you know what I said sing your song do your dance, speak your truth, all the above. Goodbye, my loves. Peace and light. Everything's alright.